I'm trying to make tiny water droplets levitate, but they keep exploding. This is the Leidenfrost effect. The pan is super hot, so it immediately boils the water, which forms a persistent vapor layer between the water drop and the pan, which turns all these little water droplets into mini hovercraft. If you switch out the pan for a tiny spoon, you can keep the water droplets from moving around and observe some very weird behavior. Scientists recently discovered that when a droplet gets super small like this, one of two things can happen. Either it explodes, or it levitates off the surface and just keeps rising until it seemingly disappears into thin air. This droplet is going to explode, and if you look closely, you can see a clue that it will. Did you see the clue? Here's another droplet. This one is ethanol, not water, but it also is going to explode. Did you see it? Both of those drops turned a different color before exploding, which means that the water was contaminated with some sort of impurity. I don't know what it was, because I didn't put it there. <laughs> it's just a mistake. Now this, on the other hand, is water that a scientist contaminated on purpose with a little bit of sodium dodosyl sulfate. And this is 30,000 frame per second video of that water droplet exploding. Now I talked to the scientist who did this work, and he also found that contaminating the drops makes them explode pretty reliably. But we don't exactly understand how that works. Like, look at this jet shooting out of the water droplet. What? What is going on here? And what about levitation? Well, according to this paper, if you use water that's pure enough and make a small enough Leidenfrost droplet, the droplet won't explode, it'll just levitate and fly away. And I really, really wanted to capture that on camera, but every time I tried, the droplet just disappeared without levitating, at least as far as I could tell with my paltry 240 frames a second camera. Oh well, explosions are cool too.